everybody, my name is Bethany Fields. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube studio. Today we're going to be working on a storm painting that's going to pop up here in just a second. And this painting was inspired by a photo that I took last summer off of a good friend's porch in, at her ranch in Texas. We had these beautiful, amazing, dramatic clouds off in the distance. And I love to paint clouds and so I knew that this would be a painting that I would really be excited to do. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to notice is that I am starting off with some gray toned pastel paper. Um, this is a sanded paper and I'm going to just start by mapping in my horizon line and also the negative and positive shapes in my cloud formation. Clouds have a lot of volume. They're not just 2D and so we, um, whenever you're working on a cloud painting, it's important to remember to, you know, you have to use a lot of shading and modeling to get the desired look. Um, I'm Right now I'm using a really light touch with my pastel. Um, right now I'm using, there's some ultramarine that I'm putting in. I'm gonna put, I put in a really light turquoise for that sky up in that upper right side. And um, I'm using a, a one set of blues that I really love by Terry Ludwig. Um, if you stick to the end, I'll, um, I'll give you a link that I'll even show you the exact set that I'm using and some pictures of the pastels that I used. Um, sometimes it helps for people to see the colors of the pastel um, just in their raw stick form. Um, and I, what I'm just continuing to do is just brushing in and, and, and and scumbling in though that pastel I you'll see me ever oh my paper fell off <laughs> every now and then you'll see me just pat the paper with my fingers I don't usually rub the paper um, I use either the side of my hand or just the very tips of my fingers um, and I'm you know it kind of there I'm putting in some darker colors you know clouds have a heavy layer at the bottom especially if they're full of rain and so when you use um, a set of pastels you know like this blue set that I was using it's helpful because the color temperatures are consistent throughout um, there I'm using a very dark gray turquoise for that for that left hand sky where the the Sun wasn't quite over there the Sun is almost set in this painting and so the sky is actually very dark um, <clears throat> whenever I'm working on a cloud painting I like to use pipe foam insulation to kind of whisk across the pastel surface um, there I'm putting in a pretty hard edge on that upper right and where that, that very um, pure turquoise is, is showing. Um, it's important to have hard and soft edges throughout your paintings. Hard edges draw the eye of, of any viewer and so you know wherever you want your viewer to look that's where you should have your hardest edges. Whenever you have soft edges that's just kind of a suggested form. Um, there I'm just kind of removing and whisking more pastel dust up into the sky because um, clouds are water vapor and so they're not always um, just, you know, edge, edge on edge. Now I'm putting in some brighter, more saturated, um, and also some very grayed sunset colors. I would just want to suggest this lowering clouds with a little bit of sunset peeking through. I'm going to put in some darker colors just to give that cloud some more weight. And I'm just going over. And whenever I'm, I'm working with pastels, sometimes I use, I'll use a pastel as a highlight, but then I'll also use it as shadows in other areas. I like to use a pastel throughout the colors throughout my paintings that gives them some cohesiveness. <clears throat> You'll see me, I'm also referring to my phone. That's because the, the picture is on my phone. Um, here I'm adding in some just little dots of very dark green for some distant trees and bushes some very cool greens for the distant land since we have atmospheric perspective going on and some warmer greens um, for that that lower part of the land in front of the trees and here I'm just kind of experimenting like which color oh there's the color that I want to use <laughs> this is farmland I, I live in Texas um, we have a lot of ranches and we have a lot of farms and so I want this was a recent plowed field um, off um, and so there's just surrounding this little patch of green and I'm just putting in a few more um, cool greens a uh, few more details on those trees and right there I just put on some workable fixative 
because you know, I actually use it not because I need I, I need more tooth because I like how it darkens certain areas and here I'm putting in some rose very um, that's just kind of a terracotta colored pastel um, I want to suggest that this is a farm but I don't want the viewers eye to focus on it and you'll notice here in a second I'm going to put in some much lighter um, row but I then um, remove it a little bit um, because I don't want it to draw too much attention away from the clouds. And here I am just adding a few more finishing touches to the clouds. I'm going to break apart that cloud at the very top where it was connected. Um, I'm really putting in a heavy layer of that the, the lightest turquoise right there at that upper right. I'm also going to um, working a little bit. Oh, I just made the little sky, um, the sky uh, the sun coming through the sky and then I put in a little mark for my barn and I also put in three lines just very very simple lines for my uh, telephone poles those don't those aren't detailed at all they're just dots but they suggest something to the viewer that they then read that it's a barn so there's the finished painting um, right now here you'll see some of the supplies that I've used um, pastel premier paper uh, Terry Ludwood pastels and if you have any questions about this please always feel free to comment you can email me anytime and I'm also going to put a link right here um, that you'll be able to that you'll be able to follow to see the picture of the pastels thank you